I want to quickly address the question if you should use Windows, Linux or Mac. And I guess also answer the question what I'm using. Huh? You use Windows? Have you ever used Arch? I'm a social influencer and I edit photos for my Instagram. Real hackers use Kali Linux. If you follow my videos, you will know that I use Mac, I use Linux and I use Windows. I absolutely understand the criticism about Apple. I understand the value of open source and the idea behind Linux and the usefulness of it. And I grew up with Windows and I like to play games that are only running on there. But personally, I'm not really emotionally invested in any of the operating systems. I see them as any hardware and software just as a tool, something that I can use to do my work. It's always a combination of a couple of things. It's mostly what is available to me right now and where do I have like the most experience with or what am I most comfortable with? And I guess there's sometimes the stereotype that people that use Windows can't be real hackers or people that use Mac are just like stupid Instagrammers. But I don't know, just look at conferences and look at the laptops that the people are using to present their stuff. You will find Linux, Mac and Windows. And for example, Gunvael is a, obviously a very experienced IT security researcher and is part of the very successful Dragon Sector CTF team and he's mostly using Windows. I mean, when necessary, he will also use Linux. So he is here setting up an Ubuntu VM, but for the most part, he is using Windows as his main operating system. Uh, the stream here is in Polish, but I guess you only need to look at what kind of tools he's installing. If you are curious in his setup, it's pretty fancy. So go check that out. It's on his Polish channel, Gunvail Coldwind. And think about malware research. Most malware runs on Windows, so you need a good understanding of Windows, which you will only get if you also use it and do your research on it. But in the end, it's just the tool you are using because that's what you need. And when you're interested in iOS, be it writing apps or even doing some research and checking out jailbreaks, then maybe you need a Mac. A lot of the work that I do requires me to run tools or writing my own scripts. And yes, I really like developing on Linux. I have most of my experience there. A lot of that knowledge is transferable to Mac and I can do that on Mac as well. But you see me a lot in my videos using some kind of VM or just renting a vhost, a server somewhere in the internet to get a Linux host. For me, Linux is the best environment to write applications for, program, run scripts, and so forth. But a lot of the daily work also is just like writing emails and writing on Slack, writing reports or documentation, just browsing and researching on the internet. For these kind of tasks, I just like Mac a lot. And even though when I'm at home, I have these huge monitors and desktop stations, I love the trackpad on Mac. Seriously, the biggest reason why I like Macs is because of the trackpad. The trackpad is just so useful. And for other people, this is just a stupid detail they don't care about and then a Mac makes no sense. Also, yes, it's absolutely overpriced and way too expensive and the state of repairs on Mac is absolutely terrible. I have nothing to counter that argument. I fully agree with you. It doesn't change that I like to click on it. I guess the main question that I get asked a lot is what I would recommend to get started with IT security is something necessary. And please don't look at all the different devices that I have and think that you need that. This is curated over many years and I like to invest money into this because this is the field I'm working in. But when I started, I also had just a Windows PC. And then at some point I got a laptop and I installed uh, Ubuntu, I believe was it on there. But if you have Windows, you can run a Linux VM or you can dual boot. For just a couple of dollars per month, you can also rent like very small Linux machines somewhere online, which is very useful because then you also have a public static IP basically. I usually use DigitalOcean for no particular reason other than that's kind of the service that I discovered and used since I've never like switched away from that affiliate link in the description. You know the game. But what I find fascinating is there are even people participating in kind of like this jailbreak iOS world. I mean, they are not doing like the jailbreak stuff, but they are writing and programming tweaks. And I've seen people do that just on their phone. They don't even have a laptop. They're using a text editor on their phone for programming. Absolutely insane and mind blowing. A Raspberry Pi is extremely cheap and it can run Linux on it. So it can run Python and whatever you need. It's not very powerful, but for basic programming, basic web application stuff, it's completely sufficient. Also, I'm not gonna sit here with my five devices and pretend that it's not a privilege to have all these different devices. It makes a lot of things easier. You know, I don't need to worry about if a tool is not running. I can just try it out on any of the machines I have. 
that's definitely an advantage and I guess a privilege of money that I have. But I would say it's definitely wrong if you think you absolutely need that to get started and that it's like holding you hugely back. I do think it's an advantage. It's a little bit of a privilege, something that gets you a bit forward. But you know, the main part that you need is like the motivation, dedication to look into this regardless. Limited environments are where creativity is the highest. When you are being limited by your device, you will have to come up with weird ways to get around your restrictions. This requires creativity and you will have a much better understanding of the device later. And like I said, some of the kids are not even held back by just having a phone and then programming on there. It's not the best, it's not ideal, but you can learn so much on it. Similar, if you have one laptop or one PC, you can run a VM in there. And yes, a VM is slower, it's sluggish, it doesn't feel native. And yes, it's a privilege if you have a dedicated Linux machine. Surely that makes working on it a bit nicer. I'm not gonna pretend that this doesn't have an impact on the learning process, but if you think you need that, that's completely wrong. You can achieve so much with just uh, these machines. Also, a lot of people recommend Kali Linux if you want to do IT security. And I have somewhat of a strong stance against Kali. Not necessarily because I believe like Kali is bad or huge reasons. I just want to be a counterweight against Kali a little bit. I personally don't use Kali. I'm way too overwhelmed by all the tools on there. And I prefer to just have a clean operating system and then install what I need. Also, I believe you should be capable of doing that because you will run into all these different setup issues of programs like how do you compile a program? How do you make sure that dependencies when they require different versions are not interfering with each other? And all that kind of stuff. You know, this is all useful experience to gain. And should I tell you a secret how I got to using a Mac? In the early times when I kind of like got into IT security and I saw various people that were extremely skilled and I was really looking up to them, I saw them using Macs, either like working on them or using them for their presentations. Oh, if these amazing hackers are using Macs, then it can't be bad, right? I know this is a completely idiotic influence, but that's the truth. Now I kind of like it. So yeah, to summarize, for me, the operating system or the kind of device it is, is just a tool and I use whatever is useful to me. And I'm very well aware of the criticisms and disadvantages or advantages of the different devices. And while I do care about these things and I'm glad that people fight for it, Personally, I have to say I'm a little bit, you know, more motivated to just learn technical stuff. So I just want to get my work done. And so I'm just going to use a Mac. But if I could cast a vote, I would definitely kick Apple in their ass for the terrible repair ecosystem. And if you are curious about my Mac setup, here are the tools that I always install first when I get a Mac. iTerm2 as my terminal emulator. Moom, it's not really a full window manager. It's more like arranging windows nicely. Little Snitch as kind of like a host firewall. In my terminal, then I'm using ZSH with oh my ZSH to make it look fancy. And then GPG Suite as a good integration for PGP in mail. Also, in most of my videos, I'm using Sublime as a text editor, but recently Visual Studio Code is growing on me. And I'm also increasingly using Docker a lot as an easy way to run Linux stuff on my Mac. I can't give you a lot of tips for Windows because I mainly use Windows for the video editing process, streaming, and also playing games. So I guess here's the Adobe Creative Suite that I'm using. And I guess recently I'm playing a lot of Apex Legends. I don't know how important that was for you to know. For Linux, my go-to choices are kind of like Ubuntu, just because it's an easy entry, but also sometimes Fedora. Like I said, I don't hold any religious views when it comes to Linux. It's just happened to be the stuff that I've been using. I would never claim that there's any good reason for why I'm using it, okay? Don't, don't try to argue with me because I have no damn clue what I'm talking about. This is just what I'm used to. That's just the truth. I tried Arch Linux, but I'm too stupid and impatient for it. And typically I also use ZSH and all my ZSH on Linux as well. But please, me telling you what I'm using, don't take this as kind of the best recommendation, okay? I have no damn clue. This is like the stuff I come across and that I've been using, and I'm sure there are better ways to do things. In some cases, I'm actually very aware what would be better to use, but I'm so used to my way of doing it that I haven't found the time or motivation yet to transition. So please spare me all the comments that other stuff is better. I don't care. Well, I do care, but um, like I said, I'm so used to the stuff, how I do it, and so it's unlikely gonna change. <laughs> I'm getting too old, okay? I'm getting closer to 30. I don't like change anymore. 